Brad. Welcome to DIY Wouldn't You. In this video, we're going to build this. What is this? Storage for your garage made out of 2x4s and half inch plywood. It doesn't cost much and it holds a ton of weight. So let's get started. This is a great storage solution for your garage. It's fairly cheap to build and it gives for a nice clean look. This garage has 10 foot ceilings and the span of this is 6 feet wide, 22 inches deep because that's how deep the steps are that go into the house from the garage. So we didn't want anything sticking out past that. So here's the material list for this. You're going to need four 10 foot 2x4s. I'm using prime lumber so you get a nice clean finish and untreated since it's here in the garage and it's just going to be storage containers sitting on this and it's getting painted. To do four shelves like I've done, you need 11 8 foot 2x4s two 4x8 pieces of half inch plywood, 15, 30 seconds, whatever you want to call it. Again, I went with the prime so it would be a nice smooth finish on the plywood. So let's get started. I'm going to mark where 6 feet is over from the corner and then I'm going to mark where the studs are so that we can screw into those studs. Probably not necessary, but I'm going to glue where the boards meet just to give it a little bit of extra strength. And then I'm going to use a countersinking drill bit and some 3 inch decking screws to hold these together. I know not many people are going to have a countersink drill bit. I just like it because it's nice and clean, but you don't have to have it at all. I would recommend pre-drilling the holes though so that your wood doesn't split out. Now I've been thinking a lot since I'm working by myself, how am I going to attach this? to those two 2x4s, two and then to those two 2x4s, two and everything be level. What I've decided to do is this. I know that my first shelf needs to have 36 inches of clearance underneath it, and that's because they want to put a trash can and some other things under the first shelf. So I'll go ahead and mark 36 inches from the bottom up. For now, I'm just going to put one screw in each side to hold this in place and then put a clamp on there to hold it while I maneuver it up against the wall. If you've seen any of our videos before, welcome back. It's great to see you again. If you're new to the channel, however, we'd love for you to go ahead and subscribe so that you can keep up with what we're working on. Now you've stopped in at just the right time because this is the first of a three-part video series in this garage. So please be sure and check back for the other two projects that we've got going on. Here at DIY Wouldn't You, we want to inspire and educate. We want to make projects entertaining and encourage you to try something fun, learn something new, and impress yourself and your friends. We want to remind you that just because you haven't done something, it doesn't mean you can't. So keep learning, keep building, keep DIYing. Three quarter inch shims. By only putting one screw, it still lets me pivot the shelf. That's far too difficult to level on this project right here. As long as you ain't doing it by yourself, you should be all right. I'm gonna go ahead and level this side up, level this leg up, and then rock and roll with the next shelf. Carry on.
far as the bottom goes to finish it out, I'm just going to put that little strip and this strip over here on the bottom tying the legs together. I'm not going to tie it back into the molding because that's just MDF molding. So, And then at the top, I'm going to use a piece across the wall and then a piece that comes out on each side. And that should be it until we get the shelving boards. After the fact, I did decide to go back and put a center support in between the wall and the outer 2x4. I don't think it really needs it necessarily, but just for some peace of mind. And it didn't take but about an extra 10 minutes. there's that. That was a fairly quick build. Uh, it took me about eight hours totally, I believe, and I was doing it by myself. If you had a helper, you could probably cut that in half realistically. This is going to get painted white along with a bunch of other stuff in this garage, so it'll give a super clean look. If this video was helpful, or you enjoyed it at all, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more fun projects that we're working on, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to see you back. If you want to be the first to know when we post another video, hit the notification bell. I'm Brad. This is DIY Wooden You. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I don't know why I keep climbing on this. <laughs> Just like everything else that I build, I say it's built like a tank. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you.